I'm Fritz Nelson here at CES 2012, and I'm here with Barbara Barkley, who's the general manager for North America at Toby. Now, Toby is making uh, eye tracking technology, is that right? That's right. And, and so, tell me a little bit more about it. Um, this, the demonstrations we're going to see are with laptops. Right, we have a laptop where we've essentially designed some software to work together with Windows 8. And Windows 8 was designed, not out yet, soon to be. Um, but Windows 8 is essentially designed to work with a tablet PC. So you have a touch screen, big buttons, you can flip through things. But it's also designed to work with a laptop or a computer. And while it's still nice, if you don't have a touch screen on your laptop, which nobody does, it's not quite as exciting as it is on a tablet. And so what we've done is we've taken eye tracking and we've combined it with the touchpad on a laptop and you use your eye to point so the computer knows exactly where your eye is looking use your eye to point and you use the touchpad to select you might use your eye to uh, go in let's say we'll, 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 you go into Amazon you're looking at pictures in Amazon everybody wants to get the picture bigger but you can't if you use the touchpad, wherever you're looking, you can make the picture bigger. Okay, so how is it doing that? The technology itself is actually uses two infrared lights that are at the base of the computer monitor. They're illuminating the eyes. The infrared lights illuminate the eyes and create a glint on the eye and a reflection off the back of the retina. So two data points on the surface of the eye. Then we have two sensors that take rapid images. It's really like a fancy camera take rapid images of both eyes. We build a three-dimensional model of your eyes in real time. And once we know from these images exactly where your eye is looking on the monitor, it's just like a cursor. Except that we have a little more flexibility because we're combining it. So is, is, does that limit it to the person who, who it's built the model for? Does it continuously build models for whoever is sitting at the computer? A great question. It's actually unique to your eye. Every eye is different. So you do a little calibration process at the beginning. It takes about 20 seconds. Okay, and, and what the application today is mostly for the disabled? I mean, eye tracking has been used for a number of years in research applications to study autism attention deficit. Google uses it to design their websites. Procter & Gamble uses it to do packaging design. So all research assessment, research design, and research assessment of websites and images. On the assistive side, we have a separate business, and there are about 5,000 eye-controlled devices in homes today that are used by people with disabilities. And what's the commercial, the broader commercial usability? I mean, is the price point such that most people can afford it? Not yet. When, few, when will it be? In a few years. And, and and will it be built into laptops? Yeah, oh, definitely. I, in fact, it'll be built into laptops, automobiles, medical devices, 